I want to analyze myself. <sighs> Newsflash! Panacone's Charmony Festival has entered its countdown phase. The singer Robin, famous throughout the cosmos, has announced in a recent press conference that she will release a new album for the festival. It's for Mikhail. And for the future of Penny. He is so hot. Come with me, everyone. Let's deal with these thugs first. Then we'll talk about how to deal with you. Wait, that's wait, wait, wait. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, that's that's not his. That's not his uh, soundtrack. Wait, his soundtrack was different. Finally, you've arrived. Everything is ready. It's time to step on stage. Hold on! Whoa! Wait, why are they wearing hat? We got the code right. Wait, uh, let me go back and then we can go to the... Can you even see the code? What do... Oh, wait. Here. Okay, it's not a match. Wait, what I'm gonna do? I can see the code, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> You'll see it later on. <laughs> I mean, I can go to the right one. Wait, I can just go to the right side. As I was saying, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Like, you should fucking like this because... I'm cringing so much. Leave a fucking like. Long time no see, Albert. I heard you had a nice vacation. Oh, as a matter of fact, I did. The IPC offers wonderful employee benefits. Word on the street is you managed to save the universe during your break. Oh, Director of Venturine, you flatter me. I just helped out a little. It was nothing, really. Why not reward yourself with an extra day or two? And abandon this wonderful artist? Never. I miss them too much. <coughs> Let's do some introductions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, house. Viewers. What's up? It's a pleasure to be here. What's up, baby? Special program. I am Black Swan, a memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection. Hello, everyone. I'm Aventurine. I miss Albert for real. Strategic investment department. Hey guys, I'm Robin. So happy to see everyone here. <laughs> a warm welcome to each of our special guests. I'm louder than they are. There sure were a lot of interesting details in that trailer. Is that okay? Is this uh... a pretty big lineup, isn't it? That How do it? Fine, fine, fine. I wonder what his deal is. Not to mention a certain brother and sister. I'm glad to see Sunday. Although I everything that's happened. I have a very big <laughs> and bad urge to like pull for our retina right now. Is that where the but aside from this, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Thank you for asking. So many guests from so many places. What will the story bring us next? Mm? Yeah, who, who will die? In today's program. <laughs> oh, can't wait. Wait, I forgot oh, to do a bingo. Who will die? Who Fuck. Who exactly is being referred to in the version 2.2 title? 
then wake to weep. Doesn't seem Wait. like a version filled with sunshine and rainbows. Don't Wait, does this mean they are we are having a new path? After experiencing two versions of Penicone, I'm sure everybody is eager to uncover. Like with the hat? Behind the sweet dream. Since Wait, are we getting the new path? Split the family screen and clock studios theme park. It's obvious things aren't quite as safe as the family made them out to be. <laughs> Did anyone really believe them in the first place? Not telling. Uh, no. Okay, so we are getting the new path. You seem to be heading in a more favorable direction okay. for Mr. Aventurine. There's All right. a secret within the family that goes deeper than any murder mystery. But with the clues we have so far, <laughs> things don't really add up, right? How do you mean, Miss Robin? For example, Firefly and I were attacked. But when we came to our senses, we didn't have a single scratch. What happened exactly? Mm, you know, Dr. Ratio once told me that in a dream, it's not death that's impossible, but dormancy. Hmm, a thought-provoking idea. And let me remind you, Himiko deciphered a secret passage in the invitation to the Charmony Festival. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? I want to so shoot other myself. Words, you need <clears> to enter <throat> an impossible dormancy within a dream. But I knew skin that cost five hundred five thousand bucks. <laughs> Within a dream? I think there's another possibility. Could it be referring to the other side of the dream? Please stop. Just like Miss Acheron Please said at stop. the end of version 2.1. Penicone, the true land of the exiles. Ho <laughs> ho! On that note, perhaps we could uncover some clues in version 2.2's new map. Dream Flux Reef. Uh, can anyone guess what the connection might be? Okay. Hmm. Taking the name at face value, it's a reef that the dreamscape flows past. If the dreamscape can flow like water, then it should be flowing downhill. Could there really be a deeper level to the dreamscape? Could there indeed? Trail okay, that's cool. Have to discover the truth for themselves. Okay, so it's like a like dark version of it. That entering this special domain okay, let's call it like we all will call it. It's slums. Main let's go. Always rings twice. Trailblazers will head to this new domain and reunite with some unexpected friends. And let's not forget, the Charmony Festival has also entered the countdown phase. The curtain will soon rise before guests from across the Oh wait, the so this is Harmony. Uh, the Charmony Festival. This is the Harmony, boss. Guaranteed security in, in this case. Has fallen to pieces. Still, they've done a good job keeping the truth under wraps. I'm curious to see what happens next. Uh -huh. They say this Charmony Festival is set to be a grand spectacle and that a special talent show is going to be held to build up the hype. The talent show, known as the Festivity Auditions, is sponsored by Soul Glad and will take place at the moment of Scorch Sand. The moment nice, it's like, it's like Kick being sponsored by a casino moment. or being sponsored by a drug dealer. Cool! Add in some malt flavored Soul Glad, and the atmosphere is second to none. Whew, it was like right. home. This place was once devastated by the invasion of memes, but became the site of the festivity auditions after its reconstruction. The family holds these auditions here from time to time to select Penacone's next festive superstar. As you can see, it comes with all the bells and whistles, lighting, stage, effects, you name it. We guarantee the most unforgettable experience for all contestants and audience members. Uh -huh. In version 2.2, Trailblazers will need to join the contest with their companions and earn the title of Festive Superstar. Oh, so you have to win the contest if you want to join the Charmony Festival? Ah, no pressure. The renowned galactic baseballer is the center of attention, no matter where they go. So, 
How do the festivity auditions work, exactly? Pass all the audition stages and earn the superstar title for a chance to venture into the Charmony Festival's main venue, the Pentacony Grand Theater. That's right. The Grand Theater is Pentacony's most recognizable landmark. If you win the title of festive superstar, okay, so that you can take thing floating in the air. The family and kicking off the Charmony Festival. <laughs> really? Does the winner get to perform on the same stage as you, Robin? Oh, that's what that's the place we are gonna fight the boss. Maybe. That's definitely the place we are fighting the boss. One hundred fucking percent. And all of those dolls gonna attack us. Don't mess it up now. <laughs> we just saw. What okay. are all those strange-looking characters in the theater? What are you calling strange-looking? Those are official Charmony Festival personnel. <laughs> After all, isn't the Robin Sparkle? You mean this one? I don't fucking know. Maybe. That's gonna be fun. That will be cool if that was Sparkle. Actually, some of them are holding glasses, and others are carrying knives. That's string, you idiot. The members of the sweet dream Wait, no, how, how is this? Bow, sorry. Bow and string, like the violin thingy. They look a little on Like, edge. why the fuck it's now, called bow? Perhaps they won the final of the auditions. Stage fright is serious, you know. Wait, uh, I, I thought the trailblazer was supposed to win. <laughs> Director Adventuring, you're a sharp one, all right. Let's Imagine the Robin we play in the game will be sparkle disguised as her. That would be... <laughs> Next, that will be amazing, the actually. Roles who will feature at the Charmony Festival. Okay, something actually interesting. Let's go. Find your color. Ooh. Firstly, okay, we thank have you. The singer Robin. Whose beauty and talent are known throughout the cosmos. I'm sure Miss Robin is no stranger to our viewers. Her gentle elegance as a singer has earned her countless fans from across the universe. Physical? Don't flatter me, Albert. Wait. I still have plenty to improve on. Oh, don't be so modest. And just so you know, uh, Miss Robin, I'm a fan too. Where is the so many collector's edition vinyls? Where is the them. path? Whenever I'm up burning the midnight oil, your singing soothes my weary soul. Wait, where's the path? The voice. As soft as a feather. I appreciate the fanfare, Mr. Albert. Wait, but where the fuck is the path? Am I blind? Oh, don't worry. I have on your glasses though. The opportunity to see you here today is worth all the overtime in the world. You're certainly worthy of the line. I'm not line, blind. Mr. There's no path. But I can't help but feel that you're a bird in a cage. Or perhaps I should say someone who's ready to spread their wings. Are we all Miss Black? He's obviously Harmon Lightning. No, she's physical. All right, Owlbird. We get the idea. No, no, no. Okay, stop cringing me. Let's go. <laughs> From the letter Miss Robin gave to Mr. Sunday, we learned that during the preparations for the festival, she was the first Oh wait, there's no, 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 never mind. I'm, I'm blind. Sorry, I'm blind. I am blind. In the, family. in the process, she suffered an accident and became a victim of death. But seeing how Firefly has reunited with the Trailblazer, I'm sure that death isn't the end of the story for her. Uh huh. Secrets are sure to unfold in the 2.2 story. But for now, let's take a look at Miss Robin. I'm Rattle still Day. pissed that they released her. About time. I mean, they released her so early. A physical type character, following the okay. path of harmony. My technique allows me to create a dimension around myself. Any enemies within this dimension follow me without attacking. Oh. After entering battle against enemies in the dimension. I can also regenerate additional energy. Even enemies are captivated by Miss Robin's star status. <laughs> my forte is working in sync with my team, offering support and buffs to everyone. Take my skill, for example, which enhances. 
enhances the total damage inflicted by our team. Total damage. damage. Which allows me to regenerate additional energy whenever my allies attack enemies. Uh huh. Make songstress. Miss Robin also integrates her songs into combat. When using her ultimate, Miss Robin belts out a morale boosting number and enters a performative state. This state allows all allies to immediately take action while also providing buffs. <laughs> Everyone immediately takes action again? Bro, free, free Spotify, what the fuck? And how about that song? Now that's a tune I can fight. Is this keepable patch? Yeah, I think this is like this patch. Really fades. If you see, if you look at 2.2, we've we have Sam and we have Milf. Yeah. I'm immune to crowd control debuffs. There's no doubt you fully embody the path of harmony, Miss Robin. Okay, cool. Has always been my mission. As a Halovian. I have the innate ability to transmit feelings and resonate energy through my halo, which aligns perfectly My friend is definitely mind. gonna pull for her. Hey, that song. He likes this type of characters. I mean, we can't be asking you to go into battle. No, no, I have, I haven't seen the full, full ultimate fact, song. No. Our audience is also very curious about Miss Robin's other songs. If I can stop one heart from breaking. No. Instance, no. No. No, 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 coming album is right around the corner. That's cool. She even took the opportunity to put together a special video for her fans. Mm? Play the tape. No, please don't. Please, no, 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 don't, don't. Hello, everyone. This is Robin. My new album, Inside, will be released on May 9th. I have three songs to share with you this time. Life is filled with worries and sorrows. But I hope that while listening to my songs, you can let go of them for a while. Long time no see. I'm oh. Sarah, the lead singer of the Bellabogian band Mechanical Fever. Miss Robin's new album is about to be released. As a fellow musician, I really look forward to seeing what kind of tunes she'll be releasing this time. So oh, that's cute. On behalf of all the Bellabogian fans, oh, that's I'd like cute. to ask, can you come to Bellabog for your tour? What Hello, happened everyone. to me? I'm what do you mean, what happened? Representative of the family in Penacone. As a follower of the harmony, Robin's you are powerful dead, bitch. spread harmonious melodies to Get all away from here. She is the family's pride and joy. I am delighted that her new album, Inside, will be officially released on May 9th. I'm delighted and that you are both brother, dead and should be here. I'm very grateful for all the support that Robin receives. Thank you. You're welcome. Coffin is right there. I'm chosen as the fan representative to announce Robin's new album. Miss Robin's voice is the most beautiful in the universe. Mm. Bro, like I, I, I think they tried to make him sound like a Mickey Mouse, but he sounds like an old fat pedophile. Be amazing! You do not want to miss out. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, wait, that's... Oh, What's up, everyone? Jake Miller here. I heard Miss Robin's album is coming out soon, and I'm so excited for it. I know her songs always bring many surprises. So Who the fuck are those people? Together, and I can't wait. See ya. Bye. Who the fuck are those people? I, I assume they are singers or something. Did you pull for Telegram? Or do you mean, uh, oh, you mean Telema? Uh, no, on Monday. Thank you all for your support. Today, I brought some demos of the songs for you to listen to. I mean, I'm gonna put for her on May, on Monday, so it's like. Trace 
change your pace, sway to the beat, hands up, embrace who you want to be. Join my dream, it's just the right time. Okay, those sounds good. If you like the demos, those actually sounds good. Oh. Holy shit. I look forward to seeing you all officially on May 9th. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Can we fast forward to May 9th already? I'm grateful for all the support. To accompany the album, I prepared a creator invite web event, which aims to gather lovely melodies from all over the cosmos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Now that we've introduced Miss Robin, the next individual to take the stage is none other than <coughs> Boot Hill. Oh yeah, I know. I mean, I would, I would pull for hell. That's not his soundtrack. Excuse me, where the fuck is his soundtrack? Bro, that's not his soundtrack. That's not his soundtrack. At the end of version 2.1, we heard this mysterious visitor's voice over the phone. He's currently... on his way over? Who is this Boot Hill? Where does he come from? <laughs> Glad you asked. Allow me to introduce him. Boot Hill is a galaxy ranger with a pretty unique turn of phrase oh, like muddle fudger son of a nice lady <laughs> no. <clears throat> aside from being a galaxy ranger boot hill is also a wild and unpredictable interstellar cowboy a regular on the ipc's wanted list wait so, what is this there's talk that he also wait i cannot find the song several serious incidents sounds like he's someone who plays both sides Skirting the line between good and evil. He's going so cool. However, this dangerous gunslinging cowboy was put in his place at Penacone's Reverie Hotel when the front desk told him he couldn't check in. Galaxy Ranger. I think I know why he wasn't allowed to stay. Oh, because Penacone already had another Galaxy Ranger checked in. <laughs> exactly. Talk about an awkward situation. That's why Boot Hill decided to visit the Astral Express, hoping to get some help from the Nameless. I see. But aren't Don Hong and Pom Pom the only ones currently on board the Express? Are they gonna resell main? I, I have no idea. I don't know when the patch is finishing, when the new patch is coming. I was like out of Hong Kai for the past week. I had no idea to like today we are getting the can do on the battlefield as a cowboy roaming the galaxy boot hill has his own combat philosophy he targets a single enemy with his skill and initiates a duel during the duel boot hill taunts the enemy thereby you know i love that sound he's bouncing off my booty cheeks i love the way he rides i can hardly breathe when he's pumping deep inside this is a stackable enhancement. When Boot Hill uses his ultimate, he inflicts physical. Wait, I have no idea what he was using. I'm so sorry. And delays the target's action. Such a delays. There's even a picture of the enemy on the wanted poster. Locking yeah, that's cool. the target and striking with precision. Such a dashing cowboy. Boot Hill's technique allows him to inflict physical weakness on the enemy the first time he uses his skill after entering combat. Okay. Is this the power of a galaxy ranger. <laughs> this is the power Fuck, I want to pull for him. But I want, also want to guarantee that I will Hill's have Jade. And annihilating enemies Fuck. lead to an overpowering evolution. Problems are dispatched in no time. And by problems. Yeah, like that's the problem. I want to pull for him, but I, 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 I like Jade is Jade is a thing. And if he was the duel, he buffs the enemy. <laughs> that would be cool. So, being a cowboy. 
boy and all. Does Food Hill order milk when he's at the bar? <laughs> uh, I think you've taken ah! the cow part too literally, Miss Robin. <laughs> Wait, it's the thing? Wait, really? But isn't malt juice bad for you? Well, the IPC's files suggest that Boot Hill is prone to augmenting his fighting <laughs> skills. <laughs> Okay, that's cool as fuck. If he really buffs the enemies, if he loses them, that's I'd say malt juice is that's amazing. Moving swiftly on. Aside from the two characters we've already introduced. Okay, interesting things. So guest in version 2.2, one who's set to give a spectacular performance at the Charmony Festival. It's the one and only Harmonious Choir, the Great Septimus. <laughs> oh, the music. Like, what is wrong with Honkai lately? Like, every single one have an opera song. Why it's so good? Why they are cooking so much? Holy shit! <laughs> well, that depends on who you're teaming up with. Good thing our trailblazer is an adaptable individual. Imagine losing you MOC 12 because you lost the duo. <laughs> I brought along some detailed <laughs> intel on Harmonious Choir, the Great Septimus. Once in battle, Harmonious Choir, the Great Septimus, charges and unleashes semi chorus, which allows all of its active summons to inflict damage on a single ally. Okay, it looks like imaginary. After charging up, the Great Septimus uses Chorus, dealing damage to all allies. Plus, all of the Great Septimus active summons will also deal extra damage to all allies. Oh, Fushang is gonna During love this fight. Phase, the Great Septimus <laughs> casts a shield on themselves, decreasing the damage they take and boosting the damage they cause to all allies. Shielding the himself. Toughness, impervious to damage. There isn't a third phase. Shielding In himself. The third phase. This formidable foe becomes even stronger, unleashing defense ignoring attacks that deal massive damage to all allies. Oh, nice. A challenging adversary. Okay, so yeah, this is fight literally high. You have aventure in. You are good to go. High, you don't have aventure in. Well, yeah. I guess your Fushang is gonna die. Target and break the weaknesses of the Great Septimus and its summons. Once all the summons' weaknesses are broken, the Great Septimus won't be able to use its semi chorus ability, and the strength of chorus will be significantly reduced. Breaking the Great Bro, we had ultimate on your Danko. I decided to go with all allies. Fushang, I mean, yeah, Fushang is. She's gonna be dead in one, one ultimate. Gave some pretty strong hints on all this. I see. It seems that this was meant to be the Charmony Festival's main act all along. Oh, poor trailblazers. Did you think you were coming to Panicone for a vacation? Is this what people mean when they say rules are made to be broken? <laughs> yeah, bro, my, my Veld is gonna have a great time. No I just tend to attend him today. Either. Just Veld's just gonna... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ultimate, baby. Yes, we have the day. We've only covered the basics. There's much more for Trailblazers to explore and get to grips with. After completing the version 2.2 Trailblaze mission, Echo of War, Salutations of Ash and Dreams will become available. Mm -hmm. Complete this challenge to obtain Boot Hill's advanced trace level up material, Lost mm -hmm. Echo of the Shared Wish. Trailblazers in need of new materials should remember to save up on their weekly Echo of War rewards. And heads up, Trailblazers. Miss Robin. I'm not even doing them. <laughs> level up is past evils of the borehole planet disaster. <laughs> Make sure you don't go chasing the wrong materials. Next up, we've got Popas. information for version <gasps> 2. Hanya and Shue. 2.2's first half warp event. Trailblazers can acquire the limited five-star character Robin as well as the limited five-star duo. Topaz like Numbi. Fuck uh, Marsh. The drop rates for the Sue and Hanya are very good. This is a this is a good good four-star. This is a good banner. Will be boosted. Oh, and that's the that's the 
Trailblazers can acquire the limited five-star character Boot Hill. Steam Master Diviner Fushuen will also be available in this banner lineup. At the same time, the drop rates for the limited five-star light cone sailing towards a second life and the light cone she already shut her eyes will be like the problem is if someone does have icon but they do not have her light cone like they need to pull on this school. banner on the previous one <sighs> they need to pull on almost forgot to mention on yeah brand new four star nailed light cone boundless choreo will also be included in this war is that Acheron dancing with Black Swan? Yeah, you need to pull for this. If you if you do if you do not have if you don't have uh, her uh, are better left her light gone. Explored. Good fucking luck. But remember, Acheron is free to play. She's not. Second go. <laughs> Okay, I don't, I completely, like, so far, I completely don't give a fuck about Robin. She looks cool. But once again, I completely not, do not care. But hello, he looks amazing. He is sexy as fuck. His skill, his skills looks very nice. But the problem is Jade is a thing. And I do not have enough to pull for both of them. Do we get second count? Uh, you don't even have to copy this. You can just after after the stream is uh, finished, you can just go to Hoyo Lab and redeem the, them there. Let me introduce Kalaki Dream Joy Memoir. As you may remember in the 2.1 storyline, the screen at Kong Studios <laughs> theme park was split in two. To restore the park to its former glory, Trailblazers must free light cone. That's not free light cone. Wait. What? It wasn't wait, wait, wait. Or just something, oh, something missed? And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah, the wait. screen wasn't the intended target, was it? Mr. Aventury. Yes, 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 it is, it is, it is, it is, you're right, you're right. The Nameless should be congratulated on their admirable screen-fixing spirit. In the Clocky Dream Joy Memoir event, Trailblazers are tasked with directing and editing films. Films that do well in test screenings will increase the park's box office revenue and attract investment. This money will go towards fixing the screen that was damaged. Can we try filming the whole thing in a single shot? Miss Robin. I'm afraid not every actor is cut out for that approach. <laughs> As a professional mm. international peace media host, I'm of the opinion that skillful editing can enhance a film. Okay, I, I wear glasses. Movement. You cannot say In I'm blind. This artistic undertaking, the key to editing is the effective use of the time dice. By allocating the time dice to different scenes, it will bring about changes in the audience's emotional responses. Thrilling, what? comedic, or dramatic. Each film must achieve certain key objectives to pass the internal screen. Oh, as they gain more recognition, Trailblazers will also this looks like a bother. to create commercials. Mm. Plus, I also wear glasses. What's your what's your defense now? I have to talk to you. I have to pay attention to both you and the and the stream. I'm looking at two different screens at the same time. The Trailblazers have once again unlocked <laughs> new skills in Penacony. But isn't this more like editing than directing? Well, I wouldn't put it that way. During the editing process, Trailblazers have the chance to experiment <laughs> with different part directions and might end up with an ending that's completely different from the original storyline. Oh, that's cool. stories often originate from notable historic events. You could even regard movies as a type of visual memory, weaving together threads of memories to create one complete tale. It's quite impressive. Agreed. And after finishing <laughs> okay, so the five star Misha win. <laughs> the event light cone for tomorrow's journey. Ah, it looks like a story that took place at some point on the express. That's 
Wait, who the fuck is this? They're toasting and celebrating with nameless of the past. Yes, wait, who the fuck are they? Still linger. And while the conductor's companions may have changed, the trailblaze never ceases. Move I have no idea who they are. Let's delve into the domain of the galactic yes, I did. I did. Baseballer. Funded by Giovanni, the legend of the galactic baseballer is set to undergo an exciting round of testing in version 2.2. Huh, oh? The same Giovanni from Ethereum Wars? That's right. After the success of Ethereum Wars, Giovanni has decided to sponsor a brand new game. Yes, I did. I did. Pinnacoding. It is said that deep within the vast cosmos, the strongest baseball bat lies hidden. <laughs> to find this bat, the galactic baseballer decides to leave home, embarking on to an that interactive with Misha, I think. To locate the it is, It's in his uh, information that he interacted with a group of nameless bat, before. Oh, okay. The galactic baseballer must endure many challenges and defeat many foes in order to... Show me the gameplay. Off. It seems that in every battle wave, the trail, the galactic baseballer, needs to defeat as many enemies as possible, gain experience, and level up their team. Precisely. After the team levels up, they can choose one of three roguelike mode weapons or accessories. Roguelike mode weapons help our baseballer defeat enemies, while the accessories grant buffs to weapons or characters. But the problem is, is I'm hoping for like a different mode. On leveling up weapons first. But After we are not fighting with our characters, like. And if in possession of its resonant accessory, what's the goal? Can be leveled up to a legendary weapon, which greatly increases the galactic baseballer's fighting capabilities. Okay, that's cool. Complete each planet's challenges. Earn raccoon tokens to enhance your fighting skills and accumulate cosmic reputation. Okay. Can be exchanged for rewards. <sighs> Little That's gonna be fun. Men are so cute, and each planet has its unique charm. Just looking at them makes me want to join in the fun. How about our three guests make a prediction? This is dark chocolate. Yeah, this is dark the chocolate. Galactic baseballer get their hands on the ultimate baseball bat. <laughs> I think the name Galactic Baseballer might be a giveaway. <laughs> Moving on, our next event is called. All about Boot Hill. Oh. Mm. And how exactly will everything be showcased? In this segment, we've adopted a character profile approach. You won't see Boot Hill, but you'll hear all about his legendary exploits. A rumor has it that Boot Hill has recently been involved in some major heists, with many entities, including the space station, suffering losses. I hear the IPC and others are planning to put a bounty on his head. With so many assignments available, I'd say it's a great chance to make a profit. Win C. Chi from the space station thinks the Trailblazers are well suited to the job and wants to recommend them to the IPC. Oh, so the Trailblazers are joining the IPC? Uh, not exactly. So it's just um rich quick scheme with friends. During the event, Tasks. the trailblazers will have to complete various different assignments and gather more information well, assignment, sorry. in exchange for assignment rewards. All I have to say is That's good because th you have to do literally nothing and you gain you gain jades and free shit. No underhanded cool. tactics. Understood. <laughs> of course. There's nothing spectacular, but yeah, it, it is cool. It is cool. 2.2 presumably also has the nail biting, <laughs> the hair raising. Trailblazers, <laughs> don't forget to log in and claim yours. Genshin could Let's never. Also, not forget that version 2.2 will be introducing Shape of Duty Stagnant Shadow. Successfully completing this challenge will grant you the character essential materials, IPC work permit for Robin and Boot Hill. Well, okay. Given the relationship between the family, Boot Hill, and the IPC. I must say, this ascension material is very specific. No sooner had the sun set than Boot Hill, pistol in hand, charged into the IPC. Bang, bang, bang! Okay, I'm still gonna pull for him. Later, he was back out again. Like, if I get him early, that will be cool. And if I do not get him, I'm gonna save for Jade. The IPC work permit is only used by senior employees. Since I'm, I'm skipping Mr. Sam and I'm skipping Robin. Do you have one? Senior employee? Me? Well, I... Senior is a big word, but I suppose I, uh... 
All right, we get it. Now, Calyx Butta the Hunt will also be available in version 2.2. Completing challenges rewards you with the Meteoric Bullet Huntress materials. The double events, Planar Fissure and Garden of Plenty, are also back. Okay. Successfully challenging the simulated universe and calyxes can earn you a set amount of double rewards. Good, Make good, sure good, 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 good. The challenge, Trailblazers. Up next is the third redemption code. Okay, I see the problem with this patch. This is Giga Skip patch. Like the events are, one event is probably be a completely tilting event. The roll crack looks fun. And the third event is literally AFK. So we have one cool event and two like whatevers. We have the story. And then we have both Bothill and Fire, I mean, Robin. That's gonna be completely skipped. Mainly due to the reason that Sam and Jade are coming. And Sam is like very, very, very popular right now. First up, a new function that shows battle records has been added to the Trailblazer profile page. Oh, that's cool. On the friendless interface, you can now see the real-time status of your friends and find out what they're currently up to. For oh. example, whether they're currently in the simulation... That's just those I don't have friends. ...the Forgotten Hall, etc. That's right. And in the Forgotten Hall and Pure Fiction, you can now see your friends' lineups as well as display your own lineups to your friends. That's Next cool thing, also. This is an optional function that can be turned on or off. But sadly, this will be probably 2 .2 a way of flex. An improved team setup function, making it easier for trailblazers. Uh, yeah, bro, just use E6 Jinglu. What do you mean? Feature to tag characters, which ensures that tag characters are pinned at the top of the character bar. Ah, trailblazers will be able to prioritize their most frequently used and favorite characters. <laughs> That's All cool. Time is money. That should make going into battle all the more convenient. Expect continuous improvements to the team setup function in future versions. Stay tuned, Trailblazers! <laughs> <laughs> okay. And finally, the digital version of the Ultimate Trailblazers Guide to Pentaconi is officially out. The book includes behind the scenes stories of the Star Rail team creating Pentaconi. Exclusive interviews with the animated shorts team and features original artwork from the shorts, a flash, and icor of two dragons. Reading this might be cool, Trailblazers but I don't know can how, do how, how we can get this. Or download the PDF version. Don't Wait, you can out. download oh, this? Nice. You can just download it? There's so much awesome content. Is it really all for free? You better believe Oh, wait, it. that's cool. Wait. In wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna download this. Taking this treasured memory with me. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of the version 2.2. Wait, so what's up with the hat? Special program. Man, what's with the hat? I can't wait to see the Charmony Festival. Hello? I was hoping that 2.2 story provides trailblazers with an unforgettable experience. I hope that when the truth comes to light, the gentle sun will shine upon Fuck. all of Panacone. Hello? What's about the hat? 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 Await our Why they are wearing hats? I'd like to Hello? Say a big thanks to our three guests. Oh, and a final reminder to all trailblazers. Don't forget to log in and claim your 1600 stellar jades and 10 I did. jewels from your mailbox. And that is well and truly a wrap. See you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Huh? Wait, wait what? Wait, I. Oh, right. <clears throat> I have one final announcement to make. Panacone's dream abduction case is soon to hit the screens. Sparkle Star Rail Jazz Night is coming up on the Hoyo Fair channel following this program. Ladies and gentlemen, run for your lives. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Okay, so... <clears throat> um, maybe let's... Talk about it a little bit. Oh, so, what do I think, personally? Like I said, the update looks great. Uh, it looks good. We have the new story, which is always a very nice uh, thing to have. But, here's the problem. We get the story. Then, when it comes to events, like I said... When it comes to events, we are only getting three events, with one being, like I said, probably uh, another like uh, it, it. It's probably be uh, like a complete skip, or or a lot of people may not like it. It all depends on on the on the mechanic and how uh, boring it will be. The second roguelike event, which looks very fun and will probably be a good thing to play and uh, enjoy it a little bit. So that's on plus. So we have two things: we have the story and one one event. And the third event is literally AFK event, which where you just do nothing and you and you just press yeah send them and they give you jade. So we uh, so we have three things. Because I also think that the free jades is always good. Then we have two characters. We are getting Robin and Bathill. And like because like this is very bad what they did. Because they released Okay. On the other hand, maybe they were they were like pushed to do this. Because Shaoji already said that they want to tr they they are trying to fight leakers, which means they will release informations earlier to fight the leaks. So it can be like it can come from official official um, source, not from some leakers. So that, that's like their way to fight this. But I think. Because they released it before 2.2 dropped, a lot of people like I I already think that a majority of people were, were are not even interested in Bathel, and people who were interested in Robin, but are free to play, will completely skip this patch. Because some is coming, and in one hour. Some completely beat, and I like ended up beating Akron's amount of likes and retweet on Twitch. I mean, on 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 Twitter. So, like, this is an okay patch. Like, it's it's more of like it's more like on on a resident sleeper patch. Like the only like the good things about this patch is the story, the roguelike like event, and the free jades. Those are like three good things about this patch. There's like a very, very uh, mild patch. And like 2.3 is like, let's go, Sam. Let's go, Jade. So, well. <sighs> so, yeah, like, uh, I, think, I think a lot of people is, is going to skip this. Like this patch suffers from from being released before two point like before the next patch. Because like Yeah this patch is a complete skip. Like it, for people who wanted to maybe put for put put uh, pull for a butt hill, like for example me. I wanted to get him, but then Jade came in. I, I like I'm um, um like to to hold because I want to hold my title of meal of owner on my account. I have to pull for her, so I have to really, really, really think about pulling for Bot Hill and how ma how many Jades I can I can like uh, acquire in the future. And for people who wanted to pull pull for Robin, then like bro, what what you gonna do? 
happy birthday. It is still a few days. Don't worry. Oh, but thank you. <laughs> it is on the 30th. But we are having a birthday stream on 29th. So uh, thank you very much. Once again. Uh, so we're like... Uh... Uh... I mean, th th this, th this kind of makes me sad because... I feel like those characters are cool. Bro, like you can... Like, if you look at 2.3, you cannot compare it. Like, you, you cannot compare it. Like, the scale is way bigger. Like, I guess the Batgirl was already a niche. And only few people pull for him. Now, no one's gonna pull for him. And, and people who wanted to pull for Robin were like, Okay, I can get Robin, and she sings nice. But I can get Firefly! Which transforms into a fucking flame robot, or I can get a good looking MILF. So, yeah, yeah. This is a very, very sad patch. 